welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Sims 4 speed build for you. And if you saw my last video, I did an apartment where I just chose a rug that I never use and then just based the apartment off of that. Well, I decided to do that again. <laughs> so that is actually the rug I decided I wanted to use. And basically just because I really love it and I've just never used it before. So I decided to intentionally pick it and then I was going to use it and then just base this apartment off of that. And so what I wanted to do was actually create a really cool, like eclectic maximalist space and where each room has like its own identity when it comes to the way it's decorated. And so I figured this would actually be a really good fit for an interior designer and that they just kind of dump all of their ideas into their apartment and this is what they came up with. And so this actually was kind of an interesting video because I actually decided to install a reshade into my game. And for whatever reason, I decided to do that between the filming sessions of this video. So about in a couple of minutes, the look of this might change a little bit. <laughs> the, the colors will be a little more saturated and brighter. Honestly, I think it looks a lot better. So if you notice a slight change in like the coloration, don't worry, it's, you're not crazy, that really did happen. <laughs> I tried to alter it a little bit so that you don't really notice it too much, but you know, I, I did my best. And I kind of went on a little bit of an adventure when it came to the screenshots for this build as well, because the reshade did some interesting things to the game. <laughs> so when I take screenshots in the actual Sims game, I just use the command C like that, you use in the sims to take a screenshot but fun fact the reshade doesn't show up on those screenshots <laughs> so i took all the screenshots and then realized oh my gosh the reshade's not on it so then my screenshots don't look as good as what i did in the build and it doesn't look the same and then i was like maybe i'll fix it and then take the screenshots through the reshade but then come to find out the screenshots the reshade takes is actually full screenshots as then you see the ui and everything like that so i was learning some new skills today on how to take screenshots a little bit differently going into that tab mode while you're building and then taking screenshots from there so i actually redid all the screenshots <laughs> for this build but they all match now i was back and forth on what i wanted to do but i thought you know what i should retake them because i really like the way they looked with the reshade and that's definitely going to present an interesting dilemma for me i actually have a larger build coming out soon that i just finished taking all the screenshots and it took me about an hour and a half to do while trying to deal with a whole family of sims and that was before i realized that the reshade didn't show up in the screenshots so i'm not sure <laughs> whether or not i'm going to go retake all of those screenshots because that was a lot of screenshots but we'll see <laughs> if i feel like i have time to do that but i'm i have a feeling i'll talk about that when that video comes out probably sometime next week but anyways back to the actual build <laughs> but i thought i'd just fill you in to make sure like you knew what was going on i think the color shift will probably change here in about 20 seconds but for this space i actually ended up making some alterations to both the bathroom and the kitchen and oh my goodness my bird just made a little like tweeting noise so if you hear him in the background that is skylar <laughs> that is my parakeet he is actually in the room with me right now while i'm filming which is totally not normal however basically long story short we got a new stove and what you have to do when you get a new stove is actually turn the stove on and basically it has this like some sort of like chemical in it in the oven part that when it gets heated creates a lot of white smoke and it's just a chemical smell and so we have that's what we're doing right now actually <laughs> my husband's downstairs to babysitting the oven while it like gets all the chemicals out and that can be really harmful for birds so the parakeet is actually with me upstairs so if you, you see here like actually hear him in the background that is him and Skylar is saying hello. But anyways, <laughs> actually back to this build. For the living room, I decided to bring in some pink and blue and yellow and I was so excited by this and actually revamped my inspiration for this apartment. I'm not gonna lie, when I was doing my apartment builds last week, I just wasn't feeling super inspired. So I just was kind of doing the things, but I just wasn't really excited about it. But when I came back to the game and I was doing the living room, I got really excited with this color scheme and I felt like it did 
like this room justice and so i actually pulled in a lot of the pinks and blues into the rest of the space which is actually why i end up swapping up the tile in the bathroom and in the kitchen to pull those pieces in and then changing the decor just a little bit so it kind of looks like cohesive even though there's a bunch of patterns and a bunch of colors i still wanted the build to feel like it actually went together but I just thought this was a really neat idea and of course if you download this off the gallery it is already up you can find it under my origin ID spice and sprinkles it is all lowercase and all one word and down in the description if you want to see it written out but if you download it of course you can do whatever you want with it you can change it you can edit it you can use it for whatever sims you want to like I said that's just something I had in mind was doing the like interior designer like profession that's the word I'm looking for oh my goodness I'm not gonna lie this is probably the third time I've actually done this voice recording because of the screenshot issues so I'm actually not sure if there are certain things I've said before or if I said in this video so it's just been one of those kinds of days <laughs> but anyways so just adding a bunch of clutter here and I actually for the sims here I also thought this would be like a single mom with a teenage daughter so that is kind of what I decorated for and the sims that I used for the screenshot and like I was saying earlier, you can download this, do whatever you want with the build, play it with it however you want, gut it, do whatever. You may just like the floor plan and want to get rid of everything else and then that doesn't hurt my feelings at all, then I'm just glad I could help you with the floor plan, <laughs> which honestly sometimes can be the most difficult part. And this one was kind of interesting because I wanted it to be kind of closed off and just have these nice doorways into different places. And so this is actually going to be the dining room. And again, I kind of did the same thing where I remember seeing this rug in the high school pack and decided, you know, Know what I really want to use it so that's actually what I use for inspiration for this dining space and I do end up changing out that wallpaper because I just felt like it it was a little too like on the nose in terms of like what would match with that rug so I do actually end up changing that here in just a little bit and then I ended up using a swatch on these pictures that I've actually never used before so that was actually kind of fun too and then I do end up creating this like custom like potted plant in the corner which I highly recommend I love combining different vases and different flowers and you can do that just using the bb.move objects command in the game and so you can combine objects and just make new objects <laughs> which I do a lot and helps refresh the game like even if you're using just base game that's a great way to like make new objects without actually having to get new packs and things like that and then I ended up just like I said adding some of that color in there and I can't decide whether or not this like entrance area or the dining room is actually my favorite but I really love this entranceway because we just went with this like blue and I brought in that floral wallpaper that I didn't use in the dining room because I really just wanted to use it somewhere in this build. And I let this be like the office space for that working sim. And I actually ended up adding in that like bulletin board, project board thing, <laughs> whatever it's called for the decorator career. And that's on that other wall. And then I end up also adding in by the door, a nice little organizer where you could put your coats and shoes. I mean, that would be actually really cool if your Sims actually did that. Like they actually come in the door and take off their jackets and their shoes. I know there is like an object you can add. I think it came with Snowy Escape that allows you to like kind of put a command in the game to where your sims would take their shoes off when they come in the house but it would just be kind of cool if it was almost like standard if you know what I mean like that's just I don't know more like real life ish like I literally come in my house and take my shoes and my and my jackets off I have an area downstairs for that and for this bedroom here I actually ended up just choosing a swatch that I liked um, on the bedding and then kind of went from there and I use the beds in this home are actually from the high school years pack because honestly I really love that pack in terms of like the built items I think there's a lot of them there's a lot of different colors patterns and it can suit so many personalities I honestly really like that pack for the building I do know that it has some gameplay issues but I haven't really been playing lately so <laughs> I haven't actually experienced those myself um, but don't worry I do get rid of there it is that wallpaper <laughs> it was just a little bit too much but I do pull in a little more pattern in the 
a rug but it's a little more subdued and not as like in your face as that wallpaper was but I actually really liked how like tranquil and I feel like calming this room was and I think it's because of all those the green swatches that are in here and I did kind of set the curtains apart a little bit to make that window look a little bit bigger because it's so small I don't know maybe it's a window that's supposed to go in like the bathroom of the original apartment maybe and that's why it's so tiny but it just felt so like random and like small <laughs> so I think the curtains helped a little bit in making that look a little bit larger and then this is the bedroom again just picking a swatch that was just super fun and helped me like just use different objects in the game and I ended up including uh, like a yellow dresser in here which was this really cool like fun punch of color in here and that really cool like blurb looking like mirror and just all the colors I even included a tv in here and a like game console so maybe that's something this sim likes to do who knows maybe they want to be like a streamer or something you know when they grow up and you know they just enjoy playing games and I use that awesome really cool egg chair in here and some of the great art pieces that came with this pack. I say with this pack like you know what I'm talking about with the <laughs> high school years pack. I've just been talking so much about it because it's this nice eclectic like posters and things. I really think that was needed and really nice. I mean ideally I wish I had just a bunch of little pieces that I could overlap myself and create my own collages but I'll take what I can get for sure and then I just add in a mirror over here and we're actually getting close to the end of this build so if you enjoyed this please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it and of course as always put some comments down below about what you want to see and ideas that you might have because I would love to go through those and I hope you have a really sweet day bye everybody